on YouTube. To say that there has never been anything like it in the history of the world is to state the obvious, since the same is true of all social media sites. But YouTube is a unique case in some ways. Whereas Facebook is a kind of online version of human social connections that had already existed in the pre-social media world, and whereas blogs, websites, and even microblogs are online variations of the kinds of mass print publication that has existed since the 1500s, YouTube provides an unprecedented opportunity for everyone in the world to reveal a little slice of the sights and sounds of their own personal experience to everyone else in the world. The statistics are staggering. 100 hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute. If a person did nothing but watch YouTube for an entire lifetime, they would never live long enough to watch even an infinitesimal fraction of all of YouTube's content. But if they could, they would be treated to a mosaic of human experience on a global scale. Not just words or even pictures, but moments of human thought, action, and speech. The intimacy of a YouTube video can be startlingly profound. The creativity behind some videos is inspiring. The absurdity of others baffling. The aesthetic quality of YouTube videos ranges from visionary to inept, but even a poorly made YouTube video sheds a light, however obscurely, on some corner of a living human moment. As any YouTube viewer quickly learns, YouTube is also a place where vulgarity, hatefulness, insult humor, and spiteful antagonism are also distressingly common. In this sense, YouTube is truly a kind of virtual mirror of the very world we live in, in all of its beauty and depravity. From a marketing perspective, being a part of this mirror world has many advantages. From a functional point of view, YouTube is a convenient repository for all of your video content. It provides free storage space for any video footage you generate, and it is easy to link YouTube videos to your website, Facebook, or to any other social media sites. Video content allows you to make a more direct connection with an online audience than anything you can put in print. Print content can be very effective. But a reader has to choose to read it and commit to performing the cognitive tasks necessary to translate letters and words into meaning. In an online environment where billions of people are competing for attention, it can be difficult to make a print message stand out no matter how well written it may be. Video goes right to the hindbrain. It is as instantaneous and as intuitive as a real-life interaction, and it doesn't rely on any higher-order processing to convey its message. While print is a valuable tool for communicating detailed information, for building a persuasive argument, or for develop, developing a message, video gets people's attention and burns itself into the brain. For this reason, whenever you have something important to say on, to a potential online audience, say it in video. Use print to explain, to elaborate, and to build understanding, but use video to compel, surprise, entertain, provoke, and seduce people into listening to what you have to say. Like all web content, YouTube videos can also be a tool for reaching new audiences, improving your brand's online searchability, establishing and cultivating relationships with other individuals and organizations, and directing traffic to your website or Facebook page. Developing your YouTube channel's homepage can also provide a valuable online space that can work in synchrony with your website, blog, and Facebook page to provide a broad platform to disseminate your brand's key message. The most valuable aspect of developing YouTube content, however, is the manner in which it challenges a brand manager to invent creative, engaging, informative, and amusing ways of crafting videos that are likely to appeal to the brand's target audience. The title of this class is Writing for Social Media, and people typically think of writing as a task that involves writing or typing words and sentences out onto a page to be read by someone else at a later time. When we're talking about social media, however, the verb to write applies to a much broader set of activities. Although creating a YouTube video does involve some writing in the conventional sense, you have to write a catchy title for your video, a concise description of the video, and a list of well-chosen keywords, the most important writing that a YouTuber does takes place in the imagination. Of course, this is where the most important steps of all writing has always occurred. Great writers may be talented at putting together wonderful sentences, but their more important talent is their ability to conceive powerful ideas to write those wonderful sentences about. The challenge of producing compelling video content can inspire writers to think about their messages in new ways, in multiple dimensions, from different perspectives, and in relation to sound, imagery, and movement. YouTube is actually a very encouraging space for a writer, since anything goes on YouTube. Aesthetically, it is a kind of wild west, where even the most fumbling amateurism is at home. In fact, the amateur video developer is a kind of privileged resident of YouTube a place where the most compelling videos are not those produced by corporate giants and highly financed marketing firms, but by teenagers with cell phones, observant parents and pet owners, and random quirky weirdos pursuing their private preoccupations. 
The best YouTube videos are not perfect expressions of video artistry. There is an authentic amateurism that is the true per perfection of the YouTube aesthetic. People don't go to YouTube to see perfect videos. They go to find something funny, memorable, odd, direct, and unvarnished. This quality makes YouTube an ideal medium for experimentation, stabs in the dark, trial runs, and speculative adventures in innovative messaging strategies. Videos don't have to be long or complicated to be effective. They don't even have to be good in any traditional sense. All they have to do is to get an audience's attention, to get them to click and watch, and on particularly successful occasions, to click a link to a web page or to share the video among their own online communities. Online writers should take advantage of the experimental atmosphere of YouTube to try articulating their message in a few different kinds of ways. Some attempts may fall flat, which is no big deal. The only kind of failure on YouTube is not getting any views, which is no different than never having posted anything at all. Even racking up thumbs down ratings or negative comments constitutes a kind of success according to the timeless marketing principle that there is no such thing as bad publicity. Other attempts, however, may meet with surprising success, not only in accumulating views, but also in giving fresh life to your brand's message and to its online profile. There is a wide variety of different kinds of YouTube videos you may want to develop to articulate your key message and draw attention to your brand. In fact, the possibilities are only limited by your imagination. Here are some of the basic categories of user-created YouTube content, but you can also think about how to combine these categories and develop new ways of using the versatile video platform. Uh, so the first one would be a first-person webcam statement. You know you should develop a video version of your statement of purpose. This tells you the content of what you should say, but it doesn't tell you the form in which you should present this content. Finding the right presentational form for your content requires you to consider the personality of your brand. If you are your product, if you are marketing yourself as a performer, a speaker, a consultant, for example, or if your own personality is an important part of your brand identity, then your audience would likely appreciate a first-person statement that comes directly from you. A webcam statement can be pre-scripted or improvised on the spot, but they usually sound most engaging when they combine thoughtful pre-planning with natural spontaneity. Of course, it is very important to speak in a manner that is consistent with the tone of your other communications materials, but people like to see a human being in a webcam statement rather than a robotic delivery of talking points. Also, consider how nonverbal cues reflect on the message of your video. Viewers will respond to how you dress, your posture and speaking voice, the visible background, and even the lighting of your video just as much, and perhaps even more, than to what you say. It's a good idea to film at least three takes before choosing one to post to YouTube. Sometimes the first one will be the best one, but not always. Second kind of YouTube video you might consider is a slideshow or PowerPoint. If your brand is not one which involves your own individual personality, if for example your brand focuses on a cause, a product, or something beyond yourself, it may be best to articulate your key message in a way that does not place as much emphasis on yourself. Developing a slideshow or PowerPoint around your key message has the advantage of being relatively easy to do. While you might provide the voiceover narration of your slideshow or PowerPoint, your audience will focus on the images and text on the screen. Of course, you can also include video clips in this kind of presentation. A good rule of thumb for such videos is to keep each slide relatively simple and uncluttered. Don't include too much text in the slides and avoid repeating the same content in both visual and verbal form. Let the visual and auditory elements work to build on each other rather than simply repeating each other. Consider using background music, but don't make it too loud that it excludes any voiceover. Another option is to replace the voiceover entirely with music, but if you do so, you want to make sure that your message still comes across clearly. A third type of video you might consider is footage from an event. If there is a filmable event that involves your brand somehow, film it, edit it, and post it on YouTube. Whether it is a trade show, a public talk, a performance if you're a performer, a rally or a demonstration if you're a politician or activist, a charity event, or any other public spectacle, filming it and presenting it in a way that reflects well on your brand can help you share your public activities with an online audience. It can draw the viewership of other people who might be interested in the event, and it generates content that demonstrates your brand's vitality and public engagement. Footage of public events shows your brand interacting in the world. It provides evidence that your brand exists as a social presence a sense which is otherwise difficult to capture in online media. Another advantage of generating this kind of content is that the need to develop such footage can act as an impetus for a brand manager to become involved in local events and to cultivate an ethic of community engagement. Fourth kind of video, a how-to video. 
A large amount of YouTube traffic comes from people who are trying to figure out how to do something, how to repair a hole in drywall, how to play the jug, how to save money on gas. YouTube is an attractive instructional tool because it creates a sense of interpersonal interaction that is so important to teaching and learning. You have developed a brand identity around a topic that is uniquely interesting to you, something that you have special insight into, or something that you have a lot of experience thinking about. What specific knowledge and what specific skills relating to your brand can you share with your online audience? If your organization is devoted to eliminating animal cruelty, create an instructional video that teaches people about what a widespread and preventable problem animal cruelty is. In addition to thinking about what you know, however, also consider what you know how to do. Develop a video designed to teach someone what they should do if they see an injured animal. A video like this provides a public service that demonstrates that your organization really cares about its cause. In the process of helping other people, furthermore, such a video is also a powerful marketing strategy for reaching out to the same people who care about the things that you care about, the very people who constitute your target audience. And then finally, the fifth kind of video you might consider developing is something completely different. Of course, there is no reason why a YouTube video has to be informative, useful, or purposeful. There is a wide category of YouTube videos that are simply zany expressions of random inspirations. As a YouTube content developer, thinking outside the box should be the norm. If you are committed to eliminating animal cruelty, consider compiling a montage of happy and healthy animals enjoying life and freedom. If you are an organization dedicated to improving childhood literacy, film children talking about their favorite books and edit it together into an inspirational micro video. Write a goofy song about your brand and turn it into a music video. Whatever you do, make it short, snappy, memorable, and shareable. You never know what out of left field whim will wind up getting attraction and going viral. You can probably think of dozens more ideas for different kinds of videos. You should also think about how you can reply to videos that already exist as a way of integrating your content with what's already out there. Make sure to avoid using songs, images, or video footage that are protected by copyright laws. Violating such laws can result in your video getting taken down from YouTube. Finally, it is also advisable to include a link to your website at the end of your video or in your video description to improve the chances that views on YouTube will translate into visits to your webpage. With a little imagination and a sufficient amount of work, you can build up YouTube content that can carry your message around the world to audiences you never would have guessed were out there. Thanks for watching.